Namaste friends and I hope you're doing well. Before I continue, I have to say that this may not affect your existing chart, although somewhat it does, but then if you have Sun and Jupiter in the first house, whatever I'm going to say right now may or may not be applicable. Why do I say that is because your grahas and the situation in your charts, perhaps you might have a, uh, a, a bad drishti or your Jupiter may be debilitated or the positions of the Sun will be overly strong. Um, or maybe there's a curse or there's a, there's a, there's a yoga uh, the the distance between the Sun and Jupiter you know, there's just so many things we need to consider before uh, making a conclusion so this is somewhat of a general reference uh, which may apply maybe half or maybe 60 percent from uh, from what I can see in your charts so you need to be um, descriptive about this please uh, check uh, if you don't know then uh, I do provide consultations you can check with me as well um, well with that said uh, let's let's talk about this so your Sun and Jupiter in the first house the first house is the house of self uh, the house that how you portray yourself outside to the world how do you behave yourself your personality uh, your childhood uh, your inner self what we call it right the Atman uh, it represents the father um, it also shows your propensity in uh, charity uh, and all that is seen. In there's just so many things about the first house we can talk about. Um, the Sun and Jupiter, when they are together in this house, okay, it creates a lot of friendliness because naturally the Sun and Jupiter in Vedic astrology are buddies, are good friends, right? Uh, both of them get along pretty well. Um, for the ladies, if you if you you know if you're planning to ma get married, please have your cha charts checked. And when you see the charts of the guy, and if the guy has the Sun and Jupiter, all right, naturally, if it's in the first or in the seventh house, um, then that's a good sign because because you will have a very kind, very amiable, very cordial husband. Uh, that's another thing. Um, back to the first house. So the Sun and Jupiter, the first house, uh, a person would be a good spiritual teacher. Okay, uh, doesn't matter what sort of job he or she is doing, but they will be a spiritual teacher. They will teach. Uh, not only they learn, but they also convey uh, their knowledge to people unintentionally they don't expect anything in return they do it because they love uh, teaching the stuff very religious people as well um, they portray good conduct you know they are exemplary people these people um, they make wise leaders very clever very astute leaders okay uh, a leader requires a lot of astuteness which, which means striking um, the right time at the right moment is it makes a it makes a leader very uh, successful so in that case tr with the authority and Jupiter through wisdom these two th things together and uh, it creates a good synergy of leadership okay so if you guys have this and out there then um, I can foresee that you will make a good leader um, you will have great support from your father that's, that's one thing very clear uh, your father would be uh, a, a source of um, inspiration and guidance to you. Okay, um, you will have uh, naturally a very modest personality. They say his son in the first house is always uh, you know very egoistic, very uh, boastful personality. But it's not true when you have Jupiter together with it in the first house. It creates a lot of um, humility within a person. Very humble, although you know so many things. Uh, a smart, intelligent, uh, kind person, but yet still humble and modest and, you know, um, living in a very simple life. Um, you really like to help people. Social service is the key thing uh, for people having this con uh, conjunction in the first house. Um, they are overly concerned about people who are needy, people who need basic sustenance, uh, people who requires education, people who requires, you know, shelter, clothing, whatever it is, you'll be there to always help them. Um, perhaps you would not be doing as much because it depends. Say if you're a very rich person, then you really, really do. If you're not, even if you're not uh, a rich person or even if you're suffering for money, yet you will still help the poor and needy people. That is a beauty with the Sun and Jupiter conjunctions. Um, but still, as I mentioned, the, the polarities has to be seen. What, what are the energy levels of Sun and Jupiter? If it's really too strong, then overconfidence is also seen. Uh, overconfidence which relates to just, just plainly talking out there. You know those fake politicians who just talk uh, and they don't do uh, as what they promise another day. So the, those sort of uh, fakeness is also seen. 
uh, people are having um, this um, conjunction. Um, one thing is for sure, money comes in various avenues for you. Um, you know, whatever that you do. If you plan, if you're doing one single, let's say if you're just working right now and you're not thinking about money uh, and all that, but you really want to make some cash, try something out. Trust me, this will really work for you because the more business you do, everything will work for you. It would not be like, uh, it's for you, you just need to work nine to five or do kind of thing. no. The more business that you venture, the more enterprising you become, the more that you receive. Okay, there's something uh, that is a gift that you have from the gods. So don't just um, stay at home, you know, do something in your free time. And trust me, it will bloom. It will bring, uh, it will yield good um, um, uh, income for you. Um, from my experience, I also noticed that these people are um, very genuine they speak their mind very with, with the, whatever they feel they speak right there isn't any differences between what they speak and what they feel uh, you know that's where all the problems start we speak differently than what we think right so uh, and uh, that's that's the major problem with, with relationships if we are open enough if we are sh talking about what we feel inside uh, and how we portray that in a very tactful uh, and uh, in a very diplomatic way, relationship lasts forever. So people having the Sun and Jupiter in the first house are known to be very tactful, very diplomatic in their speech. And, and that creates a lot of um, good sign in people. So so in, in general, I can say that if you have this in the first house, you uh, have the base foundation set in a very good, strong foundation. You just need to build it up. That is all. Okay, friends, so that's, uh, that's the conjunction of Sun and Jupiter in the first house. Um, so please stay tuned. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'll be doing more conjunctions over the week. And um, uh, today is Friday already. I hope you have a great weekend ahead. So thank you and uh, stay tuned.